Squidward, 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 I also just went with the astrologer's gloves because musicians in an orchestra will like to use white gloves and hey, these are white gloves. For the pants, you could go with whatever you want. I know Squidward doesn't actually wear any pants, but it's just for the armor purposes and to negate a bit of damage. All just because I rip my pants. Now on to the talisman. You're gonna wanna put on Radagon Sword Seal and Merica Sword Seal. The extra 20 points and stats from each of those items is just way too good to pass up for this. And you're gonna need it if you wanna use the entire orchestra. You're also gonna wanna put on that sacred scorpion charm. This is gonna raise your holy attack damage. All of the bubble attacks are holy damage. So we're just trying to boost that up, right? Keep in mind with these last three talismans that your damage negation is actually pretty significantly low. You're gonna take a good amount of damage, but you're gonna be two or three shot regardless in endgame anyways. For the last talisman, the Shard of Alexander was just a no-brainer. It's gonna greatly boost the attack power of skills. And boy does it. Boy. Onto the Flask of Wondrous Physique, I went with the Holy Shroud Crack tier, temporarily boost my holy damage, just boosting that bubble damage up as much as we can, right? Onto the second one, the Stone Barb Crack tier was actually pretty beneficial, that was going to make stance breaking easier, so when you do that bubble shower, you just basically only need two or three hits on those, and most things will get stance broke. Now, for the aesthetic, if you actually put the Great Rune on and with Merica Sword Seal, you could use Oracle Bubbles, but then you also need to have a weapon on, and that's just going to increase your equip load that much more. A little of this, a little of that, a little of this, this, that, 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 is just way better than every other great rune. Now onto the stats. Vigor I put up to 45 just to make sure I have a good amount of HP. With Radagon Sword Seal, it's gonna get increased a bit more. With Radagon Sword Seal, it increased by another five points, gi
And like I said, you can use other whips. So if you want to lower your dexterity a bit just to use those. And with the Radagon Sword Seal, you can pretty much use two or three of the other whips without actually having to pump up dexterity at all. Intelligence and Arcane, I didn't touch at all. Wasn't needed. Faith, I put up to 65. That's just going to give us a lot of the damage from all these bubble attacks. It's going to scale off of Faith. So we pump some Faith up. Now, how does this build really actually work? Well, get yourself some decent amount of distance and just start blowing away. You just need to start sending out all those bubbles like they're crazy. The bubble shower is probably gonna be the one you're gonna use the most. It does a ton of damage. It's gonna stance break so easily. But the small horn with that little bubble going out, it is so fun just to walk around and just eh, 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 eh and everything just dies around you. Now, like I said, you don't really have to use the Great Horn. I just have it on there just to have the whole orchestra. And you can move a bunch of these stats around in order for it to benefit you a little bit better, especially if you're not using that Great Horn. You don't have to put so much into Endurance. And if you're gonna end up using the whips, make sure you're dual wielding those whips because if you're only doing it with one hand, the whip abilities are awful. So make sure you're dual wielding them. Make sure you're dodging appropriately and make sure you have enough distance in order to use these skills because you can get knocked out of them pretty easily and they take a little bit to actually get going. And with that, I hope you like the handsome Squidward build. I hope you try it out because it's actually really fun. Let me know what other characters you'd like to see me do and I'll try to do my best to make them viable for you. So thanks. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome.